Hey, marks one week since NFL star Dennis Byrd was killed in a highway crash in Rogers County. Fox 23's Kaylee Doherty shows us the special tributes at today's TU homecoming game where Byrd played in the 1980s. I got a chance to speak with some of Bird's former teammates today who greatly appreciate all of the ways he was honored at the game. His legacy lives on here at the university. You can see his picture here on the wall inside the Case Center. It's just always, always the hardest worker. Um, always overachieved. David Alexander is one of Dennis Bird's former teammates. They played together at the University of Tulsa in the 1980s. Bird is well known for his four season NFL career with the New York Jets and for overcoming brief paralysis after he was injured during a play in 1992. Former teammates say the words Bird lived by continue to inspire all who knew him. Your mind and your body no limits, but your spirit doesn't know any limits. So um, that's what he always believed in, and it always worked out for him. He, over, he always overachieved. He was such a hardworking young man. At Saturday's game, both the blue TU and hurricane flags flew at half staff. A moment of silence was also held just before kickoff. And the coin toss began with the team's captains carrying Bird's original number 48 jersey to the center of the field. Definitely an inspiration to not just football players, but everybody. Another way TU decided to pay tribute to Bird is that they've painted his college number, number 48, at the 48 yard line on each side. The players also wore stickers of the number 48 and Bird on their helmets. Former teammates say his memory will not be forgotten. Well, he's never going to be forgotten because his memory lives in the hearts and minds of those who played with him. You know, he had a very strong faith um, that he was, you know, even from when he was young, uh, and he was not afraid of who he was or, you know, no one was going to derail Dennis from what his goals were. His former teammates say Bird's legacy will live on here at the university for many years to come. Reporting from the University of Tulsa, covering news that matters, I'm Kaylee Doherty, Fox 23 News. Wow, so nice to see.